This is a brief introduction to our geophysical software engineering program. GSC is based on geophysics. Therefore, we maintain that geophysics is a great science. It provides natural resources such as oil and gas, minerals and water for modern industrial civilization. It deals with mitigating natural hazards and protecting the Earth's environment. It deals with the study of Earth's shape, its rotation and position in space. It includes the study of Moon and other planets to trace our origins in the vast cosmic empire and understand our celestial neighborhood. Before we proceed, you have to take the right decision. Either you join this program or you have to decide to leave it. This is the slide that I always show to everyone who joins in. The reason is that it is a difficult world. When we talk about programming, nothing is simple. But on the other hand, if you know the art of computing, nothing is difficult and you are at the right place. So GSE is not all about programming. It starts with programming fundamentals, but it is far beyond programming. It is more about ideas, building large-scale systems, architectures and frameworks. I talked about systems, architectures and frameworks. What is the difference? We can build large systems which have architectures developed over a framework. In this program, we will endorse one computer language, but GSE is language neutral. Thus being language independent, ideas learned in one language can be easily implemented in other languages. So what is GSE? It is all about ideas and great concepts. Designing systems that provide useful solutions creating applications within an enterprise level framework that work with existing systems, understanding computational geophysics concepts at the core level and develop useful algorithms. It deals with big data in earth sciences and perform data analytics using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Since there are a number of geophysical data acquisition instruments so GSE also deals with designing software coupled geophysical instrumentation and sensors. GSE does not encourage writing recursive research papers that have no research value at all. Similarly, GSE is not about writing dumb pieces of source code just to fill the gap. It's all about brilliant ideas about the moon and apples and why the apple falls to the earth. There is no concept of tests in the GSC program. And even if there are tests, they are not the conventional tests involving reproduction of the same code. This would never happen here. There can be an open contest of ideas Thus, there is no concept of copying from one another. The default programming language for this program is Microsoft Visual Basic 6 or VB Classic. It is a simple and easy to understand language, much simpler than Python. It can efficiently handle geophysical problems. It has the ability to handle files, databases and graphics. Easy to develop interactive GUI applications supports component object model to call libraries from other languages, it is a rapid application development environment, and it is a predecessor of VB.NET and c -sharp. thus you can easily migrate to these newer development platforms. It also has the ability to assess assembly code as well as Windows APIs. Here you can see that by learning VB6, you will be able to work 
in VB.NET. Similarly, there is a version of VB called Visual Basic for Applications, which is available in all Microsoft Office applications. Then for the Android platform, we have Basic for Android. And once you know the programming concepts, you would be able to program in C Sharp and C++. And if there is a requirement for hardware connectivity, you would also be able to work in Arduino and you can easily use Python. We would be providing you the following resources for this program. The VB6 installation package and service pack, ID startup session, familiarity with the Visual Basic, Visual Interface Designer, and also learning the Visual Basic language. In addition to using Microsoft Visual Studio, which includes Visual Basic and Visual C, you would also be using Gatron GeoStudio component libraries, which includes a number of geoscience libraries and hundreds of geoscientific functions. In general, we would be using a black box approach that we would be calling functions from these libraries and using them. But whenever necessary, we would move inside the black box and understand the algorithm. We will be extending the GeoStudio libraries and develop new libraries using existing libraries. In this program, we will develop the following skills. Familiarity with the Visual Basic Integrated Development Environment. Learning the Visual Interface Designer. Mastering the Basic Language and Programming Style. Understanding object-oriented programming. Understand few commonly used components such as the open dialog for browsing and accessing files. You will see how to add new forms and dialogs such as the help and about dialogs. We will be using component object libraries such as dynamically linked libraries. We will also be using Visual ActiveX components and we will write our own geophysical functions and libraries. The main objective of GSE is not just the development of super systems, but its ultimate aim is to facilitate you to make your own fortune. Because we believe that if you are brilliant, then it is part of your intelligence that you are never left there. Let's finally get started and start thinking of great ideas. Thank you.